Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. As you can see, it is pouring rain out here. But we're under the overhang at a very special store. I am here in Northridge, California. Any Chuckophile already knows this store is very special. Look at the old awning. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Old tile on the on the floor. Floor. The old tile on the wall. I can't even talk right. It's so exciting. Anyway, I'm going to go in and check this store out. This is still phase two or phase three. I can forget which one. Uh, decor wise, kind of like um, uh, Loonwood, Washington is. Um, it's very special. They've got a two stage in there I'm going to check out. I hope you guys will come along with me. Let's go see it. This is the showroom. It's still a showroom. It's still blocked off like a showroom. It's still called the showroom. Amazing. Check this out. I've got all the decorations. Old Hollywood. Look at the old style TVs. And the cowboy Chucky doll statue. Lone Ranger right behind him. Hopalong Cassidy tin sign up on the wall. Old cowboy guitar next to him. That is so cool. A little tiki seashell shelf over here. And right below it, we got the drive in photo. One of my favorites. 1993. Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. I am excited to be in the Northridge, California, Chuck E. Cheese. This place, you guys have been telling me about this place forever. This is a phase three store, meaning it was decorated and opened in the early 90s or after concept unification in the 1990s and it has stayed the exact same ever since. Same decor, same art, same stage, everything. It's pretty spectacular already. Over here in the game room, they've even still got the old sports magazines just tucked in behind the games. You wouldn't even know they were there. Hockey stars and golf. Notice that Chucky's wearing the Dallas Stars, which is where corporate headquarters was. And when corporate took this store over, because this used to be a Chucky's e. Pizza Time Theater, sorry, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater, uh, when <sighs> Chuck E. Cheese Inc. took it over, their Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. back then, they, uh, they of course, had all the decor made probably in-house there in Dallas, which is why he's wearing a Dallas Stars jersey, I would imagine. There's also a football one tucked behind there, just behind a game, as if it's always been there and it really has. So cool. I'm so excited to finally be here. And I know, I mean, you guys were absolutely correct. This, this is the store to come to if you are a Chuck E. Cheese fan. Um, this is a snapshot of the early 1990s. Um, everything here is from the 1990s. It's just absolutely amazing. Some of my favorite things around in here are the albums, the platinum album fakes. I've only seen a few of these. These are from 1991 when this was put in. And of course the Mount Chucky Moore. Flabby Road. And then Braun in the USA. Yellow Submarine Sandwich by the Beatles. Saturday Night Retriever with Jasper as John Travolta. And Bad Dog as Jasper as Michael Jackson. So as far as art goes, this is probably the most unique store ever, just because it's not been touched since the early 90s. But of course they got the Warhols. But these are the old sassy headshots. I have not seen these in person or at all, actually. You can definitely tell these early 90s because that Jasper, the font matches his shirt patch um, that he had on him at that time. 
which Matt the Franchise has on his uh, Jasper that he owns. Uh, I just love that patch. It's so cool. But these are so cool because I've seen the Chucky version from this set. But the eyes are lenticular, so they follow you. If you can see that. I've seen the Chucky one. But I haven't seen the rest of them. This is awesome. These are absolutely dynamite. And they've got the tennis and the basketball Sports Illustrated covers too. This is the two stage right here in Northridge, California's Chuck E. Cheese. This is, uh, once again, the most awesome decor decorated store I've been in. But the stage is in great shape, great looking two stage. And it's fun watching them perform. Uh, I don't think this has been put on the list yet for the 2.0 remodel. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think it's not yet. But um, some of the other stages around town have been. But I don't believe this one's scheduled yet. Um, this stage, I believe, is from 1990 or 91 when it was put in. Maybe it was 1992, I'm not sure. Um, but it's been here ever since, including the decor. Everything's original. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Helen's got a custom microphone. It's purple, matching her outfit. She's in great shape. Chucky's looking good in his sweet khaki shorts. Real clean. Vintage old star behind him. All the lights look really good on this stage too. Very nice. Munch, of course, has the hat with the old Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. date on it. And don't you think we're going to get up there? We're going to see that date before we leave. Jasper shredding on with that cheese guitar, sitting on a speaker. And Pasquale looks awesome sitting at his drum kit that used to belong to one uh, Duke LaRue. Love the Rock of Fire drum. Good to see that back. Yeah, they're all in amazing shape. But the decor is so cool. Uh, you just don't see this anymore. These Phase 3 shows, or Phase 3 stores, I think I've only been in two of them. Uh, this is the second one, but this is way more, uh, has way more to it of the phase three uh, decor, I guess, than the one in Linwood, uh, Washington. So this is definitely my favorite. This is awesome. It's a time machine. As you can see, they have a working wink, a little slower, but it's old. It's uh, over 30 years old now. So, uh, you know, cut it some slack. He's winked an awful lot in his years. He's got that one eyelid that's really tired. I uh, absolutely adore these platinum record pieces. <laughs> Including the hits, More Than a Wolfhound and Strain Alive. Featuring the Bee Cheese. We get it, it's funny. The shelving decor is awesome. The Hollywood and Vine. New York. And they've got the beach, of course, and the Western. So freaking cool. We got us a 1990 Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. hat. Very cool.
here, but you never complain about the noise. Between you and me, I think she's just upset that she wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, where was my invitation? Oh. Uh, no. Oh. Here it is. It was in my email junk folder. Whoops. <laughs> I love the old logos and dates. This is a Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. parody award, not available for purchase. 1991 Pizza Time Inc. Like I said, I've only been in two stores with Phase 3 decor still. And it's heartbreaking that this doesn't exist anymore. It's also heartbreaking that it gets destroyed when it gets taken out. And whenever this place does get the 2.0 remodel, they'll destroy all this art as well. It's such a shame. I really wish, you know, if, I'll just say it, if anyone from Chuck E. D's Corporate does watch these videos, please don't destroy it. Please keep some of this. Even if you sell it, keep the money. There's people out there, fans that would pay you to have it. And they're not going to do anything to hurt your brand. They love this. And, you know, these are antiques as they hang around the wall, being 30 plus years old. 32 years old. Um, it's just, you know, this is a work of art just like any other work of art. It hangs on the wall, it's probably on canvas or wood. And uh, the fact that they have to destroy it when they tear it out is it's wasteful and heartbreaking. Just respectfully saying, maybe you guys should change that policy. three stores that has some of this decor uh, because the Tully Road store in San Jose has the Mount Chuck Moore. Uh, they have a couple of, not really out on the floor, but more just kept, you know, but it's like some of the Hollywood and Vine decor that's on their front windows, except larger. So it's little things like that. So they still have that at that flagship store, pieces, pieces of it, along with the modern stuff. So. Um, I like that mix of it. Again, we've talked about this before. Be cool if Tully Road decided to bring back some of the animatronics, even for a limited time basis, uh, and do some of the side stages and cabarets. Oh my God, they would. I, you could sell reservations. It would. Uh, it would be amazing. Um, and I wish that someone would do it. You know, I wish Aaron Fector would have pop up show business. I think he'd make a fortune doing that. So. Pop-up restaurants are a very cool fad. You can book them for one month that you're open. Before you ever open, it can be every reservation full, so you'll know already what money you're making, minimum. They're just a good idea, and being in stores like this that transport you back to a certain time, I'm telling you, that is worth its weight in gold for people. Uh, there's a lot of people that are older now that would walk into the store and it feels like their childhood and they have money and they will pay anything to feel that again. And I just wish someone would go for it. Take us back to the 80s and 90s. Don't be shy. It's so cool to be in an old showroom again. I mean, the actual showroom where, of course, these were all, they didn't have these windows back then. Um, or they may have, I'm not even sure if they did or not. But either way, it's definitely its own room so that they could darken the lights and have a show. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. And uh, still got the original Sherm sign. Come on, you can't beat that.
There's Chuck E. Cheese! This is the coolest old sign they still have. I did forget to mention Jasper's cheese guitar. Flat cardboard version, but still is hanging on the wall. Is another piece of decor. So, anyway. Uh, this store is amazing. Uh, it should be preserved as a total piece of history. And uh, I hope it is and remains to be. We'll see. Like everything else with Chuggy Cheese, it will probably get destroyed eventually. But uh, one can hope. And if uh, you still haven't been here, uh, what are you waiting for? I I'm sad that I waited, what, six, seven months since you guys told me to come visit here. So come see Munch's Make Believe Band perform in the showroom at Chuck E. Cheese in Northridge. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now.